Believe it or not, the Ford F-Series has been around for 14 generations. That's nearly 75 years. Later today, Ford is revealing the new F-150 Lightning. The new Lightning will be a fully electric truck, which is a complete 180 from what the original F-150 Lightning had, which was a supercharged V8. So sit back, relax, and make some popcorn, because the history of this puppy is long. Let's get right into it. Ford debuted the 6th generation in 1973, which continued to be built on the 1965 4th generation's revised platform, but with significant changes, including the front disc brakes, increased cabin dimensions, and increased use of galvanized steel. The FE engine series was discontinued in 1976 after nearly 20 years and was replaced by more modern 335 and 385 engines. This is where we come to the debut of the F-150. It was introduced between the F-100 to avoid emission control restrictions. For 1978, square headlights replaced the previous models round ones on higher trim package models such as the Lariat and the Ranger, and in 1979 they became standard. The 7th generation F-Series was introduced in 1980 and it was the first ground up redesign since 1965. On top of an all new chassis, the pickup trucks received a completely new body and though the body lines were made to be straighter, the aerodynamics of the exterior were optimized to improve fuel economy. The powertrain of this generation underwent numerous revisions during its production. At the launch of the 7th generation, the engine line was largely carried over from 1979, and while the 7.5-liter V8 was dropped entirely, a new 4.2-liter V8 was introduced as the smallest V8 engine. For 1982, a 3.8-liter V6 became the standard engine, however, due to low demand, the 4.2-liter V8 and 3.8-liter V6 were phased out in 1982. In 1982, Ford also revised the badging of the F-Series trucks and replaced the large Ford lettering on the front with the Ford Blue Oval Grille emblem, a design that still remains in use on the F-Series trucks except for the Raptor. After 30 years of being in production, the F-100 was dropped in 1983 to eliminate overlap with the F-150. 1987 rolled around and the 8th generation F-Series trucks debuted. The cabin was carried over, but many body panels were revised, including a new front fascia along with the interior redesign. In 1986, the 5.0-liter V8 Ford had been offering made a transition to fuel injection, and the 4.9-liter inline-6 followed suit in 1987, and the 5.8-liter and the 7.5-liter doing so in 1988, which made the F-Series the first pickup in the world to come without carbureted engine. The 9th generation F-Series was introduced for 1992 as a second redesign of the 1980 F-Series architecture. Adapting design elements from the newly introduced Explorer and redesigned E-Series and Ranger, the F-Series received a slightly lower hood line, rounding out the front fenders and bumper and grille. In response to the Chevrolet 454SS pickup truck, Ford introduced the SVT Lightning, powered by a 240 horsepower 5.8 liter V8. For 1993, a turbocharger became available on the 7.3L IDI diesel. In the middle of 1994 model year, Ford replaced the IDI with the new 7.3 liter T444E turbo diesel, the engine branded as a Ford Power Stroke. For the 1997 model year, the ninth generation was gradually phased out of production. For the 1997 model year, Ford made substantial changes to the F-Series trucks. They repackaged the F-150 into a more contemporary design, retaining heavier-duty F-250 and F-350s for customers who were interested in trucks exclusively for work. The 10th generation brought the most extensive redesign in 17 years. The chassis received fully independent front suspension, ending the use of the twin I-beam front axle. Sharing only the transmission with its predecessor, the F-Series received a new range of engines including a 4.2-liter V6, a 4.6-liter V8, and a 5.4-liter V8. It was offered in standard cab and extended cab configurations. The SVT Lightning made a return in 1999 and was powered by a supercharged 5.4 liter V8. The 11th generation of the F-Series rolled around in 2004 and would last till 2008, and it brought the redesign of the F-150 on an all-new platform. The new platform starts off with a fully boxed-in frame and introduced rear shocks to mount outside of the frame for decreased wheel hop and improved ride quality. Ford also introduced additional variants of the F-150 as well. The FX4 off-road package, which had been available since 2002, had been made its own trim level. A sportier version of the F-150 came as the STX, which was replaced by the FX2 trim level in 2007. The 12th generation was introduced in 2009 as an update of the Ford full-size truck platform. A new model for 2010 included the SVT Raptor, a dedicated off-road version of the F-150. In 2011, Ford reintroduced the 5.0 in the F-Series and its new 5.0 Coyote dual overhead cam TIVVT engine with 360 horsepower. As a Part of the major focus on fuel economy, the entire engine's lineup for the F-150 was updated for the 2011 model year. 
Along with the new V8 engine, the F-150 gained a new 3.7 liter V6 engine and a powerful twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 dubbed EcoBoost by Ford. The 13th generation came in 2015 and would last till 2020. The new design marked extensive changes to the F-150. In an effort to improve fuel economy, Ford designers reduced the curb weight of the F-150 by nearly 750 pounds without altering the exterior footprint of the vehicle. To allow this to happen, nearly every body panel was switched from steel to aluminum with the frame remaining high strength steel. The 2015 F-150 was also the first pickup truck with adaptive cruise control. The 3.7 liter was dropped and replaced by a 3.5 liter V6 as the standard engine. With the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 added alongside the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. The 6.2 liter V8 was withdrawn, but the 5 liter V8 continued as an option with a 6 speed automatic transmission as the sole option. For 2018, the F150 V1 through a mid cycle refresh. The F150 shifted from a three bar design used on Ford trucks to the two bar design that debuted on the, the 2017 Super Duty model line. The powertrain options underwent several revisions as well. The 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 was replaced by a 3.3 liter naturally aspirated V6. The EcoBoost V6 engines and the 5 liter were fitted to a 10 speed automatic transmission from the Raptor, and for 2018, a power stroke engine was fitted to the F 150 for the first time. The 3 liter V6 made 250 horsepower and 440 pound feet of torque. This engine was part of the Lion lineup of engines shared by Peugeot, Citroën, and Jaguar Land Rover. Now to the present. 2021 brought a large amount of interior and exterior changes for the F-150. The powertrain largely carried over from the previous generation with, with the addition of the Power Boost Hybrid electric engine, which was basically the pairing of the electric motor with the 3.5 liter V6. The 6-speed was dropped entirely and replaced with the 10-speed automatic as the only transmission to be equipped on the F-150. The Coyote received a new cylinder deactivation system as well. An all-new F-150 Raptor was announced in January of this year, but it's up in the air whether this new Raptor will be equipped with a V6 or a V8 to compete with Ram's TRX. So that brings us to the F-150 Lightning. Tonight, the new Lightning will be introduced featuring the first all-electric powertrain Ford has ever offered for the F-150. Ford said that the F-150 Lightning will be more powerful than any other F-Series truck in its lineup. That means at a minimum, it will be heftier than the 430 horsepower F-150 Power Boost, and given that it's fully electric, it will most likely outperform the 570 pound-feet of torque that on the Power Boost as well. A video was released of the Lightning and camouflage pulling 10 double-decker rail cars over 1,000 feet, once empty and once with 42 gas-burning F-150s being loaded on the train cars. That came in at over 1.25 million pounds. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. And if you want to see more from us, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.